path? How would you approach music today if you were just an artist starting out and it looked pretty intimidating? I think the first thing I'd ask myself is, do I want to be famous or do I want to make be rich or make money through music? And I say that because they can be two different paths, right? I mean, just not every musician, not every prolific artist is face forward. You know, not everyone is selling music directly to a audience with disposable income. You know, there are so many other avenues where, uh, from a licensing standpoint, uh, from uh, uh, whether you're partnering with film or television to create a soundscape. I mean, there's a lot of different ways that you can be a successful, viable artist without having to be on stage holding the microphone. And right. so that would be the first place to start to see where their personal ambitions are. Um, second, I would the second thing I would say is no matter what you're doing, there's riches and niches. So the money you need isn't as far away as you think it is. And that's important because you start looking at how much everything costs every single day. And it can get daunting, it can get intimidating, and then it can make you start taking shortcuts or just throwing money at stuff and expecting to get uh, you know, results that truthfully don't really even, it's hard to say that it consistently moves like that in the same way. Right. Um, so that would be the second thing um, I would think of. And then the third thing I would tell them is, your most important thing right now is to be prolific and to make new fans, right? Because ultimately when, you know, you're less popular or if, you know, the macro environment changes drastically, right? Like how do you make new fans and there's no festivals, right? Yeah. I mean, like, you know, so you want to have a direct relationship with your audience, but that's one thing that Funk Volume did incredibly well. And the MEC does that so well now. It's that you have to build your own community that mm -hmm. will insulate you from you know how the world moves one way or the other and then after that the rest is just getting better um now it's like okay well do i want to put money into this viral or this digital advertising here do i think it's you know better for me to spend money that in directions that my audience is talking about that they're interested in um, i look at all those things being more based off of the type of music and maybe some of the things that are more specific to a specific artist uh, in terms of what they should do at that point in time mm -hmm. but the first thing is always going to be do you want to be famous are you trying to be the face forward artist or are you looking to have a career in making music the second thing i would say is well look there's riches and niches and to start that we have to be the which would lead to the third thing which is like, we have to be community focused and we have to be a part of the community. That, that community is crucial. I think, I think the value is really in the community. And even if you look at, you know, outside of music, you know, the Peloton, for example, you know, they're not just selling a, a bike, right? They're selling a community. You want to be part of this community because it's all connected. Um, so I, 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 I stress that to artists time and time again, like, how do you, how do you build a community? I mean, the MEC, you know, that's what we're trying to do, a community of knowledge, a, a place where you know that you can get support and good information. Um, you know, and also what I tell artists is that you kind of need to have a system and a plan for how you're moving, like a, a system for consistent content. Right. So this is how you're going to put out content. And when you do that, you get feedback on how you want to twist that, you know, how you want to make some changes or tweaks to that system going forward. But then it's also but then it's also about how do you create moments? Like I think artists that do really well are really good at creating like moments consistently. Right. So so even with with now that I'm working with, with comedian Big Ja, I think it's the same thing. It's like how do yeah, we have these sketches coming out on a weekly basis but what's going to be our next moment right and some of the some of the stuff is kind of out of our control when he lands like spots in netflix films and things like that those are mm -hmm. moments but you know all right let's put together our own sketch comedy show that's bigger you know that's it's it's in the lane of what we're doing but we can create a bigger moment around it we can get people more excited you know and and take them on this journey and make them feel like they're part of something bigger so i think mm -hmm. artists that really move, they have this consistency in the content that they're putting out, but they're also creating moments, like yeah. time and time again. Or even looking back at, back at Funk Volume, it was like, you know, getting on Double XL, that's a moment. Um, you know, tour, touring, putting a tour together, that's a moment. Um, our contest, like anything that allows you to really shake things up and, and show your fans that you're kind of taking things to the next level. I think artists that are good at doing that um, you know, find, find success.